Okay, and this, this is the last part about the exception handling. What we will do in this video, I'll show you how we catch different exceptions, multiple exceptions, not only general exceptions. And the way it works is that in here, in our code, we have two possible errors that might happen. One of them, the conversion, which is the format exception, if you remember. And one of them is the divide by zero exception. So instead of just catching a generic exception, you can just say format exception. Now what happens, I am catching only the format exception. That means the conversion. If you're trying to convert something into a number, you will catch that exception if there's an error. In addition to that, you can actually catch more exception. If you, if you can have multiple errors can happen, like in, in this case, we can have divide by zero exception. So I can say here, I want to also di catch divide by zero exception. <coughs> Let's just type it. So make sure we got it right. Divide by zero exception, right? So divide by zero exception is another type of error. Now I can have different message to show to the user. Instead of saying invalid value enter, I can say you cannot divide by zero, right? Or you can say instead of that, I know I'm dividing by gallons, so you can say gallons cannot be zero, right? So you can say that, either divide by zero, or you can say gallons cannot be zero. You got the idea? So now, if there is an error happen, if, if the first error happened, which is, if I'm trying to convert a text to a number, we get the format error exception, and this is where, this is the message will appear. If gallons is zero, and I'm trying to divide by zero, I'll get divide by zero exception, and this is the message that will appear. The last thing I have with exception that I want to cover, exception, it's called finally. What is finally? Finally means the last thing that you do. It's like a cleanup. This finally happens whether you have an error or not. So if there is an error here, you, you catch it, and you still do the finally. If there are no errors, you jump, you don't do the catch, but you still do the finally. And to show you that, I'm just going to add message box here that says, this always happened. Okay, happened. All right. Is that clear? Type now. Let's run it. And test it to see what happens. First, I will put no errors. And then click on mile per gallon. You will get one mile. But I got that message. This always happened. Right? because it's part of finally. Now, even if I have an error, and I click on that, invalid value enter. But watch, when I hit, click on OK, again, I still, this always happen, and hit OK. But I need to clear, notice, this need to be cleared, otherwise you will get, you'll get this all the time. So how do we clear that? How do you clear that? You either put it in the catch, or when you start, you make it blank. It's better when you start, make it blank. So every time it's different, okay? So you just put it in the beginning, and then you make it equal to blank every time before you start the calculation, all right? That is the end of exceptions. So exceptions are? for catching errors in, in your code. And it prevents your program from crashing. Instead of the program crashing, you catch those errors and you show a user-friendly message to the user. You, to do that, you have to use something called try. Inside the try, you put all the code that can possibly produce error. 
All right? And then the catch, you can put a general catch exception statement, which catch all type of errors. Or if you're looking for a particular error, you just put what? You list that type of error you're looking for. Here we're looking for format exception. And you can have multiple formats. You can have multiple exception. One of them is what? Here format exception and divide by zero exception. And if you have more, you can list SQL exception. You can put all of these exceptions here. And then we have a class called finally. This finally always, always happen whether you have an error or no error. All right? So that is the end of exceptions.